This is for those of you who want to generate financial sustainability and you want to make it happen now. There's a lot of programs out there, a lot of opportunities out there that are convoluted and confusing, have many layers, loopholes, and trap doors that we end up sometimes falling through because we don't really understand what we're getting into. Unify is the opposite of that, and I am here to help you understand everything that's going on in this company with their products and their affiliate program. Whether you're a high school grad, a college student, someone in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 50s, maybe you're facing retirement or you are in a retirement stage. I want to share with you Unify. Unify's tagline is real freedom, real simple. So I'd like to introduce you now to John Kinnear, the CMO marketing guy behind Unify. He's got a fantastic message to share with you. I spoke with him over two hours today and two hours yesterday with him and the CEO, Ron, of the company Unify. He's gonna be sharing with you everything that will help you understand more behind the backbone of this company, the reason why it was created, and where they're going to be going. I'm somebody who loves the leadership level, loves to share great opportunities, especially if they have a good purpose-driven message, and this is definitely one of them. So now I'd like to introduce you to a call I had with John Kinnear from Unify, the CMO. I wanna share with you guys how to build a strong team in a way that feels good and resonates with you and where you can generate more financial sustainability for yourself and maybe help others if you'd like to do that. All right, let's listen to the interview. Hi guys, Robin Lynn here with John Kinnear of Unify. He is the CMO for Unify and he's gonna be sharing with you a little bit about what is Unify and why is it something that we should pay attention to now, as crypto is facing the bull run, whether we're in a bull market, a bear market, or in a consolidation phase, I want you guys to understand the value of having access to an opportunity like this. Robin, thank you very much for having me. Tell us a little bit about why Unify is an opportunity for people who have been perhaps interested in cryptocurrency. Maybe they've bought a little Bitcoin, maybe they've been hodling a little bit of Bitcoin, or they've even traded some cryptocurrency before but not had a lot of luck or had lost a lot of money in lending platforms why is unify something that they should pay attention to well the first thing is the position of the company always from the very beginning was to really help individuals increase their financial iq that is their financial understanding of some sound principles that play a key role in really creating abundance creating a sense of financial security and then and then wealth beyond that for the average individual so that was our MO right from the very beginning. And the world today not only is a very challenging place and a very expensive place for for most of us living in Western countries, but the the messages that we're receiving are so convoluted when it comes to wealth. There's a lot of inside information that the average individual, including myself, just doesn't receive. It's not passed down generationally. So where do we get it from? Uh, In addition to that, there seems to be so many people offering services to fix your problems for you. And in the cryptocurrency space, specifically the home business industry, the network marketing industry, there's been even uh, more an onslaught of companies over the past maybe 12 to 18 months that have simply said, send us your Bitcoin and we'll take care of your problems for you. So uh, the first and most important standout is that we receive no BTC, no Ethereum, no fiat from anyone. Instead, our focus really is going to be to lay out a university environment that's very simple, easy to follow, but rather teach them to be kings of their domain rather than trust an unknown entity with their savings. As you're sharing this, a lot of people who are listening who may be over 60 years old and in the retirement stages or maybe facing retirement, this may be a great opportunity for them to have a little time left to to really start to restructure things. Or if people are a little bit younger, 30s and 40s, uh, Ron had mentioned on the call that there was this opportunity for people to create more of this longer term view where if they get the awareness now, as you say, the financial IQ now and the, the awareness of the marketplace now, there's still time. Uh, or if somebody's in college or or a high school graduate, there's a lot of time for them to prepare. Or if the parent is preparing for a young child, a, a newborn, their new child. So, so can you share a little bit about Prosperity U, the live signals, the daily signals, the altcoin reports, and then Prosperity U, we can, we can 
end with that. So how do people interact with, with the products? First of all, I think you're, you're absolutely correct in, in A, your own thought process, but B, you're accounting, you're, you're recounting your conversation with Ron yesterday. It really isn't too late, regardless of the demographic that you happen to be in. Uh, first of all, the process can be fun. It doesn't have to be scary. And I think that a participant needs to realize, first of all, the fact that they're not going to send their assets away to someone else to manage on their behalf already is the beginning of the fun process. Because now if you learn safe ways of doing things, secure ways of doing things, you can lay your head on your pillow knowing, okay, I'm taking that very first step of me being in control. And that just takes away, I think for a lot of people would take away, for me, it would take away a lot of anxiety, uh, especially when we see what's happened in the home-based business arena, like I said, over the last 18 months with the best of intentions, poof, going up in smoke. Uh, and so now you're immediately taking all of that possibility uh, off the table for you now. So Prosperity U is going to be the very center of that. Not going to be a complicated process, but just before I share just a little insight as to how that university will be laid out for them, it's really important that they understand. For example, Albert Einstein said that the eighth one of the world is compounding. And, and so that's one of those financial principles that they're really going to be able to, talk, uh, to learn and wrap their heads around. And a lot of people learn about some of these things on the surface, but then what they don't learn is, for example, their financial planner, even the fees, the 2% fees that they're paying on, on the transactions in, in their retirement savings. Well, those 2% fees added up over the course of, of uh, a building process often will lead up 50, 60 or more percent of your actual savings, your retirement savings. So if you don't engage, even in a very minimal way with these practices, you're affecting the second half of your life in a very detrimental way. And uh, I, now that I'm getting a little bit closer to that retirement age, the idea of not having the resources even to live uh, uh, and sustain yourself, let alone go on the adventures that you were planning for the first half of your life just seems catastrophic. Uh, and then you can start to see when when people have the rug pulled out from them at the last moment, like the Bertie Madoff situation, where people thought that they were set and really had put all the hard effort in and set extra aside, and then to find out just as their retirement was beginning that there was nothing there. So mitigating those kind of risks, in my opinion, would be worth taking five or 10 minutes a day and putting a little bit of time into education and understanding. So to answer your question directly now, um, Prosperity University is being architected specifically uh, to be very on point. So every single video that you'll go through in there, and, and by the way, you'll access all of these from your smartphone. So our chief technical engineer uh, was a very successful project manager with some multinational uh, tech companies. Uh, some very large tech companies and uh, everything that we've been built, we've been building has been smartphone focused first because that seems to be, I'm still, I still use my, my computer, my laptop for everything, but I'm definitely in the minority these days. So when you're watching these videos, you'll have very specific titles that are very clear for you as to what's been covered in that video. And it's 60 seconds or, or, or 120 seconds or 180 seconds, three minutes. And, and so this way, if you missed a detail, you simply go back and watch a two minute video over again. Whereas if you have a 20 minute video of someone rambling into their microphone while they're screen sharing 15 or 20 different bullet points, you tend not to want to sit through those things again. So just by architecting this correctly from the beginning uh, lends itself towards people with those busy lives that want to be proactive, but just couldn't be bothered with some of the nonsense. What we're all concerned about, if you're somebody who's an affiliate in this process, you're joining us in the affiliate team, if you are rock on, you'll notice that this whole process, the whole streamline approach to Unify is, as John's just sharing with you guys, an ability to digest the information seamlessly, effortlessly, and in a way that's convenient for everybody because who doesn't have a smartphone? So I believe as I'm hearing more and more from John and from Ron, the CEO of Unify, there's a lot of information, of course, out there that many of us don't know, as John said, that he wasn't aware of as well. And now we're going to be able to, to, to hear from 
the the overall financial world we're going to be able to digest it we're going to be able to assess what's right for us and then be able to make the, the best decisions for our financial health and our well-being so that we can as john mentioned approach 50 and 60 years old not being afraid to get older <laughs> but enjoying life so tell us a little bit more about the live signals and the daily signals and then we'll finish with the all reports. Sure, certainly. So uh, the live, live signals and daily signals, first of all, you interface with them in exactly the same way. It's done on your phone. Uh, it's done in moments. So the ver very first thing that you would do is you would subscribe to uh, our Telegram account. And so anytime there's a signal that's due for you, your phone pings, you actually access the technical data inside your own back office. And that's actually done for, for legal reasons. The way the company is being structured is that we are financial publishers. And so it's a protocol that one has to follow for those individuals who are choosing or will choose to be affiliates uh, with Unify. The approach that we're taking, you, you know, we, we talk about success in, in business. And I earned my, my first million dollars in the home-based business industry representing an American-based product company. And I think anyone that has a few runs on the board in the home business industry has probably participated at a product-based company at some point in their careers. I only did it once. Uh, I would never do it again. It was an obscene amount of work. Uh, I paid extremely well. And in fact, I'm very fortunate in that I get paid uh, monthly still for a project I stopped building 18 years ago. And so that also, of course, touches on some of the financial principles that we're going to be expanding on in, in Prosperity University as well. Um, but uh, the, the simplicity of being able to interface with something from your phone in just moments is critically important. And, and so uh, the, the, that's the commonality with the live and the daily signals is how they will arrive and, and the amount of time it will take for you to actually interact with them. Um, but the reason I mentioned the product-based business is what we're focusing on doing is bringing that legacy sensibility, that, leg, that, that, that legacy ambition and tension to what seems to be a very transient or temporary uh, industry these days, which is the home-based business cryptocurrency projects. Uh, so, you have to that has to be part of your top down planning that you know building a legacy company doesn't happen accidentally and uh so we're, we're, everything that we're doing we're making sure that our members are covered they're protected uh in a way that if they're happy with their home uh their new home and unify that this perhaps will be something that can pay them for generations and not just weeks or months so on to the signals. Uh, first of all, daily signals are, uh, they arrive at a fixed time every day. And that's the difference between the daily and the live signal. It really boils down to how the algorithms are programmed. So um, you can set your watch by the daily signal. Now that's wonderful with someone who has a very busy life like you were just mentioning. So these are gonna be exclusively trend-based algorithms because uh, a daily means we have to follow a longer term trend, we can't be acting on short term news when you have a signal that only arrives once a day at the same time every day. So that's where the daily signal is, its strength is going to be. The live signal, it has an opportunity to earn the daily signal doesn't have. And that is when certain parameters are met, it can fire a signal off to you when it wants to. And it doesn't have to wait until that fixed time, if that makes sense. So with the live signal, our members are going to learn how to go long, to go short. We're going to teach leverage. We're also going to make sure that you're using the right exchange. So you're not paying a lot of the hidden fees that you may not even be aware that you're paying. They're going to take a lot of winning trades and turn them into losers for you. Uh, and so, again, it's, it's if you're going to put the time in, even if it's only minutes a day, let's make sure it's the most profitable minutes a day you can possibly invest. So that's the primary difference between daily and live. Perfect, perfect. My brain is happy now. Um, so <laughs> when my first question that I have that I feel others will have is at the end of the day, a lot of people may feel that cryptocurrency is something that they wanna do long-term, but what about other financial means in the money market a category with fiat currency how does that play out with unify well first of all as far as that word invest goes the only thing they're investing is in themselves they're paying a monthly subscription and to receive that published data and then it's their choice whether they take action on that data 
or not. Now, as far as the next series of products that we, and you got a little bit of a, a, a sneak peek into this next product universe just yesterday. Um, this is actually our CEO and our CTO, their passion is not in the cryptocurrency space. Now they're very bullish on cryptocurrencies and I know your audience is as well. So they're certainly synchronized our CEO and CTO with them. Uh, however, their real passion is in money markets, in funds, in ETFs, in the stock market. Now, why is that good news for our members and our future members? Well, because, and again, we really, if we're talking about our retirement, we want to make sure that we don't necessarily lock ourselves into any sort of game plan or strategy or infrastructure that may not be aligned with our long-term goals. What do I mean? Well, we don't have a crystal ball. All three of us uh, in Unify love the story behind the development of Bitcoin and why Bitcoin was brought to the world, developed for free, given away for free, and that really the intent behind that, we, we absolutely love that. If Bitcoin is not around for the long term, it cannot have an effect, a long an, an adverse effect on our members and their ability to retire wealthy. And fortunately in this case, it won't, because we have just as profitable, in some cases even more profitable alternatives for them that we'll be rolling out. Uh, one of the wonderful things about the, the, the series of products that roll out uh, in the next lineup, of course, is we're dealing again with money markets, which are monumentally larger compared to the cryptocurrency space right now. So trillions of dollars versus billions of dollars. So um, we're, we're not teeing our members up for any sort of uh, uh, frustration or failure. Uh, in fact, the system is only gonna easier for them to implement as they start to understand the subtleties of it. So tell us a little bit about what the altcoin reports will do. So, so far this year, all we've seen is sloppiness in, in the market. For the most part, things going sideways. We, we haven't seen things start to accelerate yet, but many, many people, myself included, feel that we're going to have a, a similar uh, exciting sort of run uh, through the summertime that we did last year, uh, not with the same multiples as far as increase goes. And the altcoin report uh, is really designed to give an average individual that doesn't have a lot of extra money to put into uh, a coin. By the way, the definition, I'm sure everyone on your call knows alt, right? Alternative, anything that's not BTC. So um, uh, what we're focusing on is we're really bringing our analytical team to take the similar approach they would with their analyzing a company, if you're analyzing a stock and, and really having a look at who's behind it. Um, in this case, we're not focusing on ICOs. We're staying completely clear of ICOs for a number of reasons. Most cases, what you're seeing now is a pattern where uh, an ICO will go through their huge propaganda stage. Uh, and I don't mean that to sound negative. It's just that they're spewing their nonsense, justifying their tech and justifying their $25 million raise. And then their white papers are going out and their sites are going out. And, and, and maybe they'll live up to those promises. Maybe they won't. Uh, by, not, by not focusing on ICOs, we don't have to worry about whether they do or don't. We instead get to come back now and evaluate them based on their own white paper, based on their own promises, based on their own roadmap and timelines. And then we can take a look at who's behind them, take a look at their technology, take a look at their deliverables and are they hitting their deadlines? What kind of partnerships have they made? What kind of volumes? What kind of exchanges are they on? We have this endless amount of data now that we can really put together very intelligent reports and find those undervalued technologies that are getting press, that are getting play in the market and uh, actually doing reports on uh, ICR, not ICOs, I did it myself, on uh, altcoins that are five cents or three cents or even a fraction of a cent. And so that's really where we feel, I feel those altcoin reports are going to be absolute gold for people this year. There's a really easy guideline to follow. And by the way, ADA is doing some wonderful things for the, for that exact the same thing, running parallel to Ripple. Think of Ripple as sort of for the Western nations, you know, Canadian banks, American banks, Aussie banks are getting on board. Well, ADA is is uh, filling that same space for for the unbanked portions, of the much larger portions of the world. So some really, really neat tech out there. The, the really good guideline to follow is if someone's ever recommending a coin to you, stay away from it. Um, and, and the reason is, it's very simple, but the reason is if they're ever getting a rip or some sort of spiff or bonus for recommending a coin to you, it's probably not a straight up coin. 
it's probably some sort of money game or Ponzi or silliness because the real tech, the real good tech that's out there um, isn't offering rips to members for recommending their, their coin. So if someone's recommending one, chances are it's nonsense. Not always, but chances are. That's what the Ethereum guy was saying. He came out and said, I would never give you free tokens if anyone does they're, they're a scam artist. That's <laughs> so, right. yeah, it's I, a really easy guideline to follow. In fact, an extension to the altcoin report, Robin, is going to be uh, a representative from, from that team actually calling um, a high-level uh, corporate member, sometimes the CEO, sometimes a PR representative, and actually having interviews with them. In fact, one of those we've already got completed. So probably we'll be rolling out a very simple app with the podcast type of a format inside there. So members, you know, if they're stuck in the bank lineup or stuck doing something and they want to be productive, they can be listening to these interviews of these penny uh, altcoins uh, while they're while they're uh, stuck somewhere. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, in, informing the audiences, you know, so for those of you listening, no matter what your education level is in the financial world, you're going to have an opportunity to really get yourself educated and make the best decisions for yourself in in this economy and of course whether it's with crypto or with with fiat currency so as a lot of people have asked me about the ownership of this organization ron had mentioned that he's starting unify cares can you share with us a little bit about what's behind that and what we can sure. start to anticipate well, it was really uh, the catalyst for the whole offering because to be quite direct, we had talked about simply using these algorithms and giving them to friends and family to build a much more crude interface. And, um, and of course our CTO could do that very easily and, and, and is choreographing that for our global membership. But we were just gonna build a much more crude interface just for friends and family to use the algorithms, no charge and not launch the company. Uh, and we had very, very serious conversations about that. In fact, there was a point 10, 11 weeks ago, I thought that was the direction that we were going to go. And um, it was Ron and Dave on a Sunday afternoon sitting down with each other and said, you know, um, really believing the old adage where much is given, you know, much is, much is expected. Uh, and I think they're very much both students of that. Um, and so they felt that developing these products, really streamlining the interface to make it easier for the average person that has no background at all, no background, uh, bringing prosperity to you to the forefront because there would have been no prosperity to you if it was just friends and family, we would have got on the phone and showed each other how we're gonna use, interface with this and that would have been the end of it. So building all of that out, uh, the purpose behind it really was their intention to to give, to give back, um, because they feel they've been really blessed with the opportunities that have been presented to them, not only with these algorithms, but their ability to code and program them and their ability to profit from them. And so that was really uh, what drove the whole mechanism forward in deciding to actually uh, register officially as a company, uh, business structure, and uh, start basically operating on the, the legal protocols with which we have to now set up as a company versus, you know, just giving these things for free to friends. And we decided to take that step and spend that money, uh, pick partners, anything we weren't going to do ourselves. We were very, very careful with the partners that we selected, like the back office engine. You know, you're not going to code all those things out for yourself. You'll pick someone who's been doing that for 10 years so that they've already gone through those, those, uh, coding challenges. We don't have to figure those out things for ourselves. That was all done. And we were very um, deliberate in who we allowed into sort of this inner area that we were going to invest in uh, as a partner, back end partner. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's brought us to exactly where we are now. So it's been, it's been, um, it's been an awful lot of fun, but Unify Cares is to, to, to answer the question more directly. Now, Unify Cares is going to be sort of the next stage when the company has officially launched where we probably will end up having some kind of interface where members can look at a whole map of the world and can see which causes we are aligning with uh, not only opportunities you know i've been i've been adding to my monthly 
expenses on my product based company for 22 years now, an extra $50 a month, and they go to the Children's Hunger Fund, uh, which helps children all around the world. And that's just something that's that's often done in product based companies. It was it was the same kind of a concept, except we have so many members and so many close to us that we're also wanting to engage in those causes take trips for example and i know how passionate you are about travel robin to to really uh give our membership an opportunity to actually engage in some of these causes to go to some of these places that not it's not just a case of a check that's being sent somewhere but actually interface with the individuals that are behind that are making these causes function um and so all of those things will be part of uh unified cares it'll be an awful lot of fun a lot of travel opportunities that's for sure Sounds ex extremely p purpose driven and, and exciting. And uh, yeah, so whether you guys are missionaries or you like to travel and, and have a great time exploring the world, this is definitely an opportunity Unify Cares, which you guys will hear more about, learn more about. I, I wanna just uh, touch upon if you could, I know Ron's not here to express his own his own background, but can you just share a little bit uh, from your own perspective of who we're looking at when, when we talk about the CEO, Ron, and, and can you just share just a little overview of, sure. of his background for us? Absolutely. I have had opportunities over my career to align myself with corporate, um, corporate staff in the past and have declined those opportunities. Uh, you need to be very careful uh, who and what you align yourself with. Um, and what I'm talking about, of course, is is uh, undoing all the hard work that you've done over your working career by aligning with an entity that's not doing business correctly, if you know what I mean. Uh, so this is the first time that that I myself have uh, been prepared to align myself with the corporate team. And, and Ron and Dave both are the reason for that. So uh, it's um, you don't get you get a sense of the integrity of someone when you first meet them. Uh, if you're paying attention, um, but it takes multiple encounters uh, over time, I think, to really assure yourself that who you're aligning with uh, are the individuals that you want to actually be aligning with. It's important that the audience be aware of the fact that starting your own business these days is very inexpensive and posturing as though you're a lot more than you are online is very easy to do. And one of the most common things in the world today are people that want to be the boss, that want to be a CEO, that have a great idea. When someone comes to me and says, I got a great idea, come on, I mean, it's, they're just a dime a dozen these days. They, they literally mean less than nothing. Uh, what matters is um, how one uh, I implements those ideas, the, the work ethic behind, the drive behind because if you can't execute execute is the real word if you can't execute on your idea well you know it's just it, it's uh, it's a daydream is, is what it is so um, yeah the both Dave and Ron uh, have an abundance of integrity and I've seen it consistently in the way they operate on a daily basis so um, it made it very easy for me to choose to move forward uh, on a corporate level and Ron's experience has been, he, he's run, he said, 25 different countries, a $2 billion portfolio. Yeah, and two separate, two separate companies that had uh, uh, annual gross sales in excess of a billion dollars each. So, you know, when you start to get to corporate levels at, at uh, corporate teams at that level, um, you, you know, in, in life, and now this is, this is not the truth. This is just my opinion. But I know when I look back over my life, I've only learned when I've made mistakes. Um, if I make a correct decision, and I've been very fortunate, I've made a lot of correct decisions and made a lot of money from those correct decisions. But in my head, I always knew the answer the whole time. And so it wasn't the same kind of a learning experience as it was when I got my rear end handed to me, if that makes sense. And so when you start to operate in corporate environments with other individuals that can build companies to a billion dollars, um, A, the caliber of the team you're working with is very high. They all know how to execute. They all know their roles. They understand the definition of those roles and they operate well within them. But when you start managing teams like that, like he has, um, the you have an opportunity to experience mistakes that the average person wouldn't have an opportunity to experience. And so you can head off a lot of disasters in the past 
from walking in those shoes, especially in two different companies. And so um, I, I know how he operates. I've seen him walk away from opportunities as well because quality of life matters. And and so to stay in projects that are of that size, that magnitude with, with high caliber teams uh, in two different occasions, uh, you'll learn an awful lot. And so uh, there's a lot of um, catastrophic failures that we'll be able to avoid because of our uh, time in those roles. Absolutely. And when we talk about how we deliberated 10 weeks ago, a very, very serious deliberation as to whether we were going to do this or not, that comes from having done it. And so dealing with people that know what's required and know that they're really going to have to up their game now where they thought maybe that that part of their life might have been over. And so, you know, it's these are not decisions. These, you can't take these decisions lightly at all. I, I don't have the aspiration to have a hundred million dollar years and I don't have the aspiration to run companies where I oversee uh, hundreds of people. That's just not my personality style and it's not my skill set either. Uh, and there are people in your audience that do have those aspirations, but they're early in their professional career and they don't know how to connect the dots from where they are to that grand vision that they have. Well, you know, one of the, the great places where they can start connecting those dots is in an environment like this, where they're learning to take, for example, I had a 200 BTC year last year, just learning about Bitcoin. Well, that's 200 BTC, even at today's value, not to mention last year's high, is a couple of million dollars. So these types of things are possible for anybody. What and, protocols and, and, were you following prior to Unify's? Yeah, I got involved in a home-based business, a Bitcoin-based business. And and so I was full, basically using my skill set, which is uh, mentoring and team building. Uh, and uh, and I just took those skills and I ended up, like I said, earning, uh, I had a really big, big year last year. And, and I mean, you have them from time to time, um, but, uh, this the, the the foundational information that people are going to learn in this environment, regardless of where they whether they have aspirations to to uh, earn these types of incomes or whether they have very, very simple aspirations and want to completely free themselves from debt and never have to worry about spending and be able to be very much in charge of where they are and when they are and with who they are. In both extremes, uh, they'll be able to accomplish those things or at least lay start a path on accomplishing those things with the information they're going to find within Prosperity U. A lot of people are going to be interested in building a team if they have or have not had any marketing experience, but they know that this is something they want. They know that they want to generate some kind of commission through an, an opportunity like this. How do, how do you lay the foundation for them as far as it being an MLM, an affiliate marketing program? How do you how do you set the stage for somebody who may be new to this or who's a complete roadrunner here going at going sure. at affiliate marketing? You know, I would I would probably approach it with the same uh, perspective. I suspect that I would with someone who has gotten engaged in a BTC project only to have it collapse and then they fall flat on their face. And then perhaps, in fact, last year, there were so many different offerings, maybe they got involved in the second one and only had that collapse and they fall flat on their face again. And so they hit a crossroads and the crossroads is, is this pattern gonna keep reoccurring and am I, am I the one who's the idiot here and, and I'm being played for a fool or is there a genuine opportunity here and I simply need to be persistent? Uh, and, and what I would tell you is that the opportunity is genuine and it's real and that you do need to be persistent. You simply need to make sure you continue to learn from past mistakes. And as we said earlier, uh, I, I mean, I've made an awful lot of them. It's the only time that I do learn. And you simply need to make sure that you do. Because one of the things I watch, I watch the pattern that people fall into and roll. They'll, they'll be in a project that collapses. And a week later, they'll be soliciting me in another project that is exactly the same business model. I, it's a token pump and dump, for example. And I said, well, <laughs> you're already hearing the news. The, the, the principles for project A are now being pursued by Interpol and leaders are getting in trouble. And this is you're following the same pattern again. So it, it's really, you know, the attraction is the tokenization, the trend, the transition to digital currencies. Now. First thing is, if you were to ask the audience if they thought the worldwide transition from paper money to digital money was going to be a smooth and simple process, 
I don't think any rational thinking person would say, yes, it was going to be, it would be an absolute piece of cake. Of course not. We're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about the reallocation of, of, of trillions of dollars and a shift in power in some cases. Now, not always, of course, some of the large power brokers in the financial world now are going to be the large power brokers ultimately when, when uh, digital currencies have settled and they are, the way that we pay for everything but not always there are some people the same when we saw um uh the internet uh only really a de well two decades ago now and this this um inception of voip for example we saw some very large uh, american telecom companies embrace voip embrace uh communicating over the internet and we saw other companies reject it and the companies that embraced it are thriving today. They're many, many times larger than they were before. And there are household names that were strong companies for decades that fought it, that went bankrupt. So it, this is gonna be a very, it, we live in interesting times. Let's just say that. If you're one that worries about a lot of details that are beyond your control, try very hard to stop doing that because the, the universe is gonna continue to operate in that fashion. You're not gonna be in control. The only thing you can be in control of is decisions you make regarding your finances so you can sleep well at night. We're gonna help you with that. But part of that is gonna be, you're not sending money to anyone. You're gonna learn how to steward your own. Uh, and then you're gonna learn how to grow it using principles that really work. They, you, we'll, we'll teach them three wealth building principles. Compounding, compounding interest is only one of them. When you start stacking them on top of each other, oh my goodness, you can start creating success very quickly for yourself. So. Hmm. You know, and I and I know I, I sometimes uh, uh, took a little bit of a detour there, but I really just wanted to set a little bit of a table for what I see happening in the crypto space. And there are some very, very strong offerings, some very legitimate opportunities for people. And so that crossroads that one hits if they've tried a couple of things and fell on their face is, do I give up on this as an opportunity for me to profit? Or do I simply learn from my mistakes and continue down a path that's, potentially an extremely profitable path for you. Well, and a, a lot of people I feel are at the whim of other organizations when it comes to the whole platform with Unify and, and how we get paid from Unify to offer the products and to share the opportunity. Can you share a little bit with us about what that looks like and how that works for somebody sure. either who's been doing mar you know, online marketing or who's new to it, but is super excited about this kind of an opportunity? The opportunities that are being presented to you right now, and I'm not just talking about Unify, I'm talking about in the business world in general, uh, there's so much abundance in the world these days. There's opportunities everywhere. And so now some some of us may be in need of a bit of a paradigm shift and, and that and that be the case. And I'm sure that's part of Robin's training for you in, in other videos. Certainly not going to get that from me in this video. What I will help you with is this. Uh, I got involved in the home based or network marketing arena. Uh, my background was commercial photography. And I, as I started moving more into marketing, I was being exposed to more and more network marketing opportunities, which was a chasm from my area of study. Uh, as, a, as a commercial photographer, all I needed to know was to, to, to take pictures, whether in a studio environment or in a real world environment, really well, put them up where uh, my potential clients would see them and they would call me. So that was the opposite of learning a sales skill. I didn't, I didn't have any sales background at all. And uh, so I was probably, I would think, the last person to be appropriate for home-based business. But... What pulled me into it was this opportunity to earn exponentially uh, instead of trading a unit of time for a unit of money. And this, that business model, that earning model, um, it's very difficult to create wealth with that earning model. Even if you're a doctor or if you're a lawyer or if you uh, have a successful retail business, what often happens is that your quality of life the size of your car, the cost of your home, the school that your, your children are going to, those things increase. And therefore, that spendable income that you're generating, trading a, um, your time for a higher unit of pay gets, gets consumed. Uh, and so it's very difficult to really create abundance, to create a real sense of security. What happens is you just live a more expensive life. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so until you start using some of these principles where you're getting paid multiple times and sometimes many, many multiple times for the same unit of work, that you really difficult to, to create abundance. And, and that's one of the opportunities that home-based business offers. And so what I would simply say, Robin, is this, for those individuals that are scared to death of sharing anything with anyone, um, what you need to really focus on is that in this era, this smartphone era, where we're always downloading apps and we're always making recommendations, um, there are ways to approach building a network marketing business that doesn't have to be intimidating. Uh, it doesn't have to be a burden to those around you. And you can, one of those things, one of those things in Prosper you, you will be, you, you, you will be learning is very clean, very effective, non-intimidating ways to simply share things with your friends and not have your friends resent you through that process. It's very easy to do today with tech companies versus sort of the old school uh, sharing shakes and bars with people. I, I agree. And and there are there are a lot of people, however, who are in the opposite end of the spectrum where they're professional uh, <laughs> <laughs> professional marketers where they've been doing uh, share, share, share everything and anything. And so a lot of what I teach people, uh, you guys listening here, is, is to really know how to communicate with your audience and share what's applicable to them based on what it is they want and the value that's going to be received versus just spewing out some information that you think is helpful, you know, posting a link on a, on a Facebook page leading into your affiliate link isn't going to do anything for you. You've got to learn how to communicate and connect with nothing. your audience. Yeah, it, your audience gets jaded. It actually does less than nothing. It's damaging. Some of the, one of the things that you'll definitely get from the top down, from Ron down, um, there's just, there's so many pearls out there and so many wonderful teachers, guys like Stephen Covey, who, who teach us to first seek to understand and then be understood. And for a rookie marketer, that's probably one of the smartest things they could ever do. Because even if you don't give a shit, it creates the illusion that you do. But more importantly, that if you do, your audience, your friends are gonna be aware of that. They're gonna be sensitive to that. And that's really where relationships are built. So, uh, you know, you really need to invest time in doing these things the proper way, as opposed to just doing. Well, my, my motto, for the past 10 years has been it's not about you it's about who you're here to serve and to take the to take the emphasis off of me my and i and to to put it on what do you want what what are you what do you see as valuable and how can i decipher this information so that you get it so that you understand it so that you mm -hmm. understand it's valuable and so i feel you know for everyone coming from that place of wanting to market of wanting to make residual income and exponential growth as john was sharing you guys you guys have to, and I use the word half with a strong emphasis, you have to put, uh, as Dale Carnegie said, right, if you want to be interesting, you've got to be interested. <laughs> so you've got to be interested in what people want so that they want to learn more about what you're offering. So when I'm looking here at my current month, this is estimated potential earning, and I'm I'm trying to understand here the weekly referral bonus and then the forecasted matrix commission. Can you share with me a little bit about what this means? Absolutely. And and, and I'll just make a, a small footnote, by the way, just in case some individuals do have network marketing experience that are in the audience and say, hey, wait a second, you're not allowed to show us your back office. This could be considered. Well, these are estimated earnings. This isn't actually a paycheck that Robbins receives. So this is not going to be a form of enticement because this is not money that's received. This is her simply helping you understand the infrastructure with what it is that we're doing right now. Uh, so for those of you who are considering getting involved uh, from the perspective of an affiliate, we have a period of time available to you right now uh, where you can place yourselves absolutely free. And in fact, if you recall, we talked about those altcoin reports and the very interesting analytics that we're using to try to separate good from bad. Well, you can access three of those altcoin reports absolutely free. And you would do that by hitting the home button, which is right next to the teal colored dashboard button that's lit up right now. So um, the process with, yeah, so if you wanted to do that, if you see where the, the updates, the CEO calls are, if you choose to position yourself for free right now, by the way, and first of all, if you, uh, listen, I'm just gonna say that if you see the value in not sending your cryptocurrencies away, but rather learning how to steward them for yourself 
and want to get involved and use the products we've discussed, and that's the extent of your interest, I would suggest that you don't position yourself yet. We have a customer placement option for you when we go live, and we'll be going live in approximately two weeks. So don't place yourself into Robin's business unless you want also her to help you uh, help mentor you in sharing this with others, and we'll certainly do that, okay? So now if you scroll down, Robin, you'll see um, you've continued to scroll down. So it says example only. So these are not live because, of course, we're not charging money uh, from anyone. However, uh, if you continue to scroll, you'll see um, an opportunity to download when we go past the signals. Nope, all the way, all the way past and you'll see the token reports, there you go. So you can actually hit more and you'll actually download the entire document. So, and then when you start looking inside that document, uh, you'll actually see some of the metrics that are being used. And I think that uh, individuals that enjoy this kind of stuff will, will eat it up, but individuals that don't normally look at these kind of reports will also appreciate it because we get straight to the point and they're short documents, but they're packed full of valuable information. The process for someone coming in who definitely wants to become an affiliate, knows they want to share the opportunities, interested in receiving the information, going through the, the whole process here of Prosperity U and the signals and the reports and learning more about cryptocurrency if they're a newbie or if they're an expert, getting these expert signals sent to them or if they're lear learning about more of the money market situation of fiat currency, learning how to manage that effectively and educate themselves, whether they're a beginner an intermediate or advanced level, they do want to be, become someone who's interested in, in sharing this opportunity. They know that I'm here to support them or my team members are here to support them in growing their team and mm -hmm. knowing how to share effectively. So when we're looking at this here, tell us a little bit about just an overview about how the process works when someone comes in and they do become an affiliate. How does it work for them? What, what's the the short version of 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 the the best process to follow for somebody who's an affiliate who's willing to put in some time and energy maybe it's not their full-time thing but but willing to put in some time and energy what's the best scenario for them to follow as an affiliate okay. marketer with this okay so we'll keep this really short um the most important thing that one needs to do uh if you've decided that you need to have an exponential growing uh, income as part of your life, and, and believe me, everybody needs one, uh, you can accomplish that with as little as five hours a week. Uh, no exaggeration, you absolutely positively can. But if you're only gonna invest five hours a week, you have to have tools available to you and you have to use those tools. And that's how you're gonna save your time. So you see underneath your that lovely photograph of you, Robin, and you can see where it says personal website? Yes. If you click on that, so everyone will have that. So this is the site that we have built for all of our affiliate members. And this has been designed very deliberately. So the very first thing you'll notice at the top, there was a play button. So on that play button is a 90 second video. Basically it's a commercial, very simple marketing message just to put a foot in the door, that's it, okay? So if I was going to speak to a friend, I'd say, hey listen, have you got 90 seconds right now? Now, I know a lot of you that grew up in social media, um, which really dates me, uh, are very uncomfortable reaching out to friends with a phone call first. You need to, and, and this, I, when I started to realize that people don't call anymore, uh, it was actually quite a shock to me, Robin. But um, so people use, they're using their WeChat and their WhatsApp and their Facebook Messenger and, and uh, their Skype. So that's fine. Then what you would do is you send a message to a friend in whatever style that you normally send that message. Hey, what's going on? How are things? Do you mind if I give you a call for, for a minute? And then you go ahead and make a call and say, hey, listen, I need two minutes of your time. I want to fire some information off to you. And now when I was building my business the very, very first time, I, I, I said, listen, if it doesn't float your boat, forget about it. I won't mention it again. You know, our relationship is, is more important, but I want you to look at this information, you know, one time if you have five minutes. And that's, that's what I did. And, and that's going to be a 100% approval uh, uh, a response to, that, to a call like that. So this site is designed to do all the heavy lifting for you. If you go to the product link at the top, you notice there's only three links. There's product, sign in, and sign up. That's it. You hit product, takes you to the lighthouse, okay? Because we're signals, we're signal based. So um, you can see the play button in the center. That starts a product based video. That's a seven and a half minute video of the CEO walking uh, a, a viewer 
through the products itself. Okay, from disclaimer all the way through to how the products work. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, then again, this site was designed as to not turn anyone off initially because all they're going to learn about is product effectiveness. If you scroll to the bottom and you hit that small word affiliate in the footer, that's when the business page opens up to you. So all of you will have this in a replicated website. You'll all have your own. And it's right at the very front there is the first your next play button, and that's going to be the business plan. That's a four-minute video that walks through a business presentation. So straight to the point. And if you scroll down, Robin, you'll actually see the PowerPoints, the PDFs, nice. right there. So the site is really meant to do all of that work for you. And in addition to that, you can download those PDFs on your phone or your tablet or your laptop whenever you're bumping into someone or sitting down with them for coffee. It's right there for you. If you don't want to have a need for Wi-Fi, you walk through the presentation yourself. When you download those PDFs, I want you to look at them as though you knew you had no background information. You'll notice, and it took us weeks to lay them out so that even if you didn't have someone holding your hand, and walking them through, you could still make sense of them. And so really by building a replicated website that everyone has that can do all of that work for you, it means that you don't have to do it. And that's it. So that's where replication comes from and that's where exponential growth comes from. I share this with a friend who absolutely wants to create an additional income source for themselves. And within minutes, they have their own site and they have their own tools and they know how to use them. Simple, effective easy to apply absolutely the other thing is of course if we created an information vacuum well what happens of course humans are going to fill the information vacuum and different humans are going to fill that information vacuum in different ways and then when you go to youtube or you go somewhere else you're going to have 80 different renditions of of the representation of the company which is just going to confuse your audience so just with a little forethought i guess and this is where we kind of go full circle to our background in the industry and and learning from uh you know uh, ridiculous behavior or mistakes that we've seen corporations make in the past, we just nip it all in the bud. And in fact, right in here, we're teaching this concept of exponential growth. So this is not me just sharing with two friends, but if this grows exponentially. So uh, you, you, you'll, you know, you'll get a sense of uh, uh, the deliberate way with, it, with which we will do everything when we move forward. Same thing with Prosperity You, same thing with your understanding of how to trade effectively uh, it will all be very clear and very deliberate. So you won't have to waste a lot of time on this stuff. Fantastic. And so will will there be also live webinars still from the team that we can share with with our team that, that you guys will be holding weekly? Is that going to be something yeah. that will continue? Yeah, we're doing them now. And in fact, the recorded version, the two recorded we've had so far are in the back office. And uh, we'll continue to do probably two worldwide live events, probably weekly. Um, one would be a corporate update and the second would be focused specifically on product. Again, we really want to focus on building prosperity use so it's incredibly easy to follow. However, uh, there will be some concepts that we probably will want to share in live presentations as well. Okay, fantastic. And so as we wrap up here, I appreciate you taking the time with me on Sunday, John, and, um, and Ron's energy too. I just really strongly just so you guys can understand uh, you know there's a lot of a lot of people out there wanting to advance and make short-term growth uh, whether it's you know on the next bull run rally with Bitcoin or in the stock market or with some kind of a new opportunity as John mentioned a lot of ICOs that come up with their their new token pools you know there's a lot of things that in the short term uh, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a lot of things going on for short-term growth but what we want to look at is we want to look at the bigger picture. We want to look at what's happening today with your finances and where you want to where you want to go with it, whether you're 20 years old or 62 years old. So uh, there are short term gains, as you can see here and in, in the, <laughs> the dashboard here. Uh, there are short term gains where you can generate significant income in the short run. But then if you take advantage of Unify and what they're offering, there's a lot of long term growth where you can finally take advantage of your own finances and have an awareness that you may never have had before. Or if you are somebody who's been trading for a while or you have a lot of financial backing, 
this is going to be something that can take you to a new level or to help you find more sustainability and more reach with the purpose that you have here and and to just to just really feel good about how you're making your money and maybe hodling your bitcoin or <laughs> or having access to more abundance as john said so i john i really appreciate is there anything else you want to add as we as we finish up here today well i really enjoyed the time it's it's been a, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you especially the past couple of days with all the meetings that the presentations we've we've been in together uh, I, you know, just in closing, I would encourage everyone to do your homework, do your due diligence. Uh, and if you do, I think that you'll probably end up aligning yourself with us in, in one capacity or another. Uh, the most important thing that uh, you're going to learn uh, from us and unify is uh, for you to be the captain of your own ship. We're going to show you very uh, unobtrusive, uh, non time consuming, but very effective ways of doing that. And, um, you know, it just seems, it seems in this day and age where life has gotten busier and busier that stressing over finances is a requirement of living on the planet. <laughs> and it absolutely doesn't have to be that way. Uh, and so uh, if you've decided that uh, um, you no longer want that to be part of your daily an anxiety, then uh, this is a great starting point for you. A habit formed is one that can can be a habit changed. <laughs> so Indeed. why not move into something more fulfilling and, and sustainable for you guys? Absolutely. That's that's the boat I'm rocking on. So <laughs> I'm rocking Robin. We've had John Kinnear here. He's the CMO, the marketing guy behind Unify. Unify with two eyes, U-N-I-F-I-I dot I-O. If this is of interest to you, you'll find a link somewhere around this video. Likely it is below. If you're on your iPhone on YouTube, you're gonna click on the down arrow. It is a triangle facing downward. It'll open up into a description and there you will find the link. So I'm Robin Lynn. I've been with John Kinnear of Unify. I'm really excited about this opportunity, guys. You're gonna hear me talk a lot more about it. And if you're on my team, you're gonna get to work with me personally to help you build out yours. Thanks very much. We're talking about increasing your financial IQ so that you can have this awareness to educate yourself financially in both the crypto and money market industries, to have access to more wealth, to know how to protect your assets and how to grow them effectively. Regardless of how much time you've got left on this planet, we are going to help you make this kind of an impact in your life. And if you want to share it, how to do that, how to offer this opportunity so that you can generate commissions. And these commissions that are paid out are just generously paid out. So go ahead and contact the person who referred you to this video, whether that's your sponsor in Unify. And if you don't have a sponsor in Unify, be sure to find a good leader that's going to support you in this global movement for generating financial sustainability. And we can't wait to help you and meet you to support you as well on your journey.